Do you only know the Beastie Boys and Run DMC? Do I only know them? I don't. I wouldn't say hearing this, I know them. I just did. Uh, but yeah. you figured if well, it's not Beastie Boys, it's going to be Run DMC. Yes, because yeah. they sound similar style. Well, these guys absolutely influence Beastie Boys, of course, but For King sure. of Rock. Um, if you get Peacock, I know not everybody does, but I do, but Peacock uh, has a great, I, it's, I think it's a three or four parter. It's called Kings from Queens, and it's the Run DMC story. It's an episodic documentary on them that dropped uh, today. I was watching a little bit of it uh, this morning. They just started because it was it was uh, it was Reverend Run, it was DMC, and then Jam Master J. And Jam Master J got killed twenty years ago, and they just started the trial. I think last week. I don't know why it took so long. The guys that killed uh, Jam Master J said that. They were putting a Coke deal together with him, <clears throat> and he screwed him or he backed out or something, and they killed him, or whatever it is. Um, I don't know if that's probably going to be featured at some point in this documentary, but if you're a Run DMZ fan at all, they are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, say what you want about uh, rap artists being in the Rock Hall, but Run DMZ always had that kind of edge to them. You know, the biggest song at the time that kind of kicked off the whole rap and rock thing was them doing Walk This Way with Aerosmith. And it basically pissed off the fan bases of both of those bands. But that was really um, kind of the beginning of, of that whole vibe where it's considered to be kind of um, instrumental in that. But uh, Run DMC, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they got uh, inducted by Eminem in 2009. But... Um, if you get Peacock and you like Run DMC, you're in luck because there's a documentary over there called uh, Kings from Queens. Hey, hey. They are famously, of course, from Hollis, Queens. And I like Run DMC. I mean, the song is called King of Rock. It's not there called King of Rap. It's called King of Rock. 1985. I was a freshman in high school when I got uh, King of Rock on vinyl. Just little uh, freshman year AC. It was their second album. And um, I think I got it for my birthday. It had come out right after Christmas. And then I got it for my birthday in June. And, you know, these were guys mid-80s. They weren't killing each other. They were having fun. They were singing about their sneakers, for Christ's sake. And they were just uh, having a good time. Laying it down. They had a song called You're Blind on King of Rock. And I remember listening to it over and over again, trying to convince them that I wasn't. And I don't know if I ever did. Don't know if I ever did. But Russell Simmons produced it, and of course, you know, he had a pretty nice career. But um, Pound Cake is correct. That is Run DMC. Not the Beastie Boys. I was not a Run DMC household. You were an Earth, Wind, and Fire household. Correct. Yeah. Certainly was. I, we partially were, too. It's not like my mom was playing Run DMC. I used to watch Run's House on MTV. Yeah. And then I think to help promote that show, he came out with an album, and it, he came out with this song. It, it, it was Whose House, Run's House. And then he, I just realized how corny he was. I mean, he's walking around looking like a priest and his little. Well, he's a reverend. Okay. It was Reverend Run. Yeah, no, I didn't. I thought he was corny. He's a cornball. Yeah, but Run DMC was kind of corny. Like, they were pioneers for what they did in that genre. But like I said, they were singing about their sneakers. They were like, yeah. It was also really was a, early in the days of It was a very hip-hop. different time yeah. for hip-hop. I liked Run's House. I thought it was very entertaining. Yeah, I liked the show. Daughter was cute. Yeah, they, The oldest one. I wonder if they still boxing. have uh, the shoe line out. Like pastries, they had a really, it was like a really successful shoe line. Don't know. Bridget, did you, do you know what I'm talking about? Did you ever buy any mm. of those shoes? I, I'm, no, I don't. The pastries, yeah, they were, uh. What do they look like? They, they, they were like gel, jelly style, uh, oh. sp- sports sh- Pop tennis tart shoes. glitter high okay. top sneakers in fuchsia is what I'm looking yes, at. Yes, yes, yes. Do you know what shoes. you're talking about? I never had any though. Okay. 
I do and that was that was um, that was Run's daughter's line. Is that yeah, what you're that, saying? Those were their their shoes. Yeah. America's number one dance sneaker. Oh wow! <laughs> I can't believe I didn't have a pair. I was gonna say <laughs> right. you're trying to be Cher over there. Yeah. Yeah. Really should have given up the singing career and mm-hmm. gone all in with the rev shoes. Yeah. What are you gonna do? So, yeah, Run DMC and Aerosmith, when they did that, um, people were complaining. And, you know, when you try to cross the streams, it's not always easy. I was watching uh, If You Follow T Pain on TikTok. You know, we played War Pigs a while back. He did an album full of covers, and his cover of War Pigs by Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne, said it was the best cover of the song that he had ever heard. It's just good. It was fun. It's great. I, good I version. I just recently found out that T Pain can sing. Yeah, he's a great he, everybody, about everybody just yeah. found that out because he was so closely associated with Auto Tune. They were like, oh, this guy can sing. But if you follow him on TikTok, he was talking about, I've written a lot of country songs. Interesting. But I can't get credit for it. Why? Well, I'll Cause... let him tell you. Oh, great. All the people I know, like, wait, feel wait, like wait, it's before not it... cool to listen to other jobs. Uh, why do you think he can't get credit for it? Or doesn't wa- he? It's more that he doesn't want credit doesn't want credit for it. For it. I, I don't know. I don't know why he would not want credit. So he's he writing songs. So there's uh, T Pain most closely associated My with guess like you know is he doesn't want to. It'll bring down his cred, and also if the people that listen to country find out that he wrote the song, they're less likely to listen to the song. Why would that bring down his cred if he wrote it? Because people would be like, within the hip hop community, be like, oh, this, mm. they'd be like, this corny guy's writing country songs. Mm. Okay. Or they could say, wow, that guy is very versatile and can do everything. <laughs> That's what you'd hope. That yeah, would be the rational hope. response yeah. to yeah. artists spreading yeah. their wings, right. but mm-hmm. uh, not so much. All the people I know like feel like it's not cool to listen to other genres of music. Country music is where I get all my harmonies. Country and gospel music, that's where that's where all my har- harmonies come from. I don't wrote a lot of country songs. Stop taking credit for it because as, as cool it is to see your name in those credits, the racism that comes after it is just like, I'll just take the check. <laughs> don't put me on that. I'll just take the check, bro. Never mind, dude. You know what I mean? Well, at least he's still getting paid. When you said we're not taking credit, I thought it was like a silent ghost situation. Oh, no, he's getting paid. We're not telling anybody. I don't want anything for it, but here is a great song for you. Mm -hmm. At least he's getting paid for it. He is getting paid. Who cares about the credit? Wasn't he the first one to win The Masked Singer? I have no connection to that show whatsoever. Okay, I think it was the first season. You could be right. And that was when everyone realized that he could sing because obviously they're in masks and dressed up as weird characters. And he kept making making it further and further. He ended up winning, and people were like, wait a T-Pain minute. T-Pain beat out Gladys Knight and Donny Osmond. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know how that show works. So, so I've, I don't really watch it. I think I watched a few episodes that first season. It's it's a little weird. So they have a mask on, mm-hmm. and then they have to sing. It's like a full-on costume. They yeah. have them mic'd. I know when I had Tom Berger on on the show a while back, he had gotten offered to do the mask Singer or something. And oh, they, wow. they, they basically said, well, you can eat. they had two costumes left. They're not singing live, right? Like those are recorded tracks. That's my they question. Just, I, they would have to be because of the the, the masks. masks. They're huge. Yeah, like yeah. they're like almost mascot. Yeah, they're costumes. like mascot costumes. But yeah. I thought they were mic'd inside. Maybe. Yeah, but I feel like even if you mic'd it inside, it's going to it sound muffled. sound weird. Yeah, because they're usually pretty good. So they're in a giant costume and they're playing a pre-recorded thing of them singing. I'm thinking so. I mean, they're. I think they're trying to make it seem like it's live, but it's not. Okay. And then they have judges, and they're trying to guess who the celebrity in the costume is. And they're doing that just by the voice. Yes. And but they also are judging the voice, so that's how they keep making it further and further. Like, oh, that was really good. T Pain has won. Wayne Brady has won. Oh, it says that every Leanne Rhymes has won. Every performer must perform live on stage. Mm, all right. Nick Lachey. Have it. Jewel. Nick Lachey won? Tiana Taylor won season seven. Jeez, I didn't know there were this many seasons. I know, right? Was she the one married to Booby Gibson? No. No, she was, she was married to Amon Shumper. No, yeah, Amon yeah. Shumper. Aren't they still married? No. Hey. No. Wait, they're not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're heading for a divorce. It was in a sports break. No, they're not oh, together no. anymore. A pound cake sports break? A pound cake sports oh, break. Oh, man. gosh, I can't believe I missed that one. Uh, Bishop Briggs, if you're familiar with her, she's kind of more on like the alt indie thing. Neo won season 10. 
these are some big names. Okay. Yeah, they get yeah. a lot of people to do this show because it's a really popular show. It's just I've just never seen it. I see promos, but I know nothing yeah. about it. I mean, well, that's how I found out T Pain doesn't need auto tune. He can actually sing. Yeah. I wonder how um, Bridget Linton's share would improve I, I, I mean, were we to put auto tune on it. Well, well, I, what that, I was thinking is. Send Bridget Linton on Mass Singer, <laughs> sing a share and see if everybody's like, oh my share? gosh, share is here. here? <laughs> well, honestly, you guys, I, I, you know, I just listened back. I guess I don't sound as much like her as I thought. In my own ears, I, I it's like perfect. I sound just like Cher. Listening back, I kind of get it now why people laugh. Not so much. <laughs> but when I watched the show last night and the mom said that, you know, the lady acting as Cher's mom, let's throw some auto tune. I'm like, wait a minute. So when I impersonate Cher, I'm actually impersonating an auto-tune voice like that is really impressive but it's actually not now that i hurt myself <laughs> i think that is very impressive actually good for you and also you guys i the disconnect to reality is pretty impressive <laughs> i mean it is yeah and it is it's not so weird that you hear something so different in your own ears than what other people hear we've talked about this yeah it's because you hear your voice through your bones and other people oh. hear it through the air hmm. so when people go is that really me it's like well, that's what you sound like to me, but in your own head, it's the vibration through your skull and your, yeah. So my bones are like, you are Cher. Yeah, your, your bones are <laughs> absolutely telling you that you're Cher. In my bones. <laughs> yeah. You're Cher in my bones. Yep. And my fact, skull is my biggest fan. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've listened back, and I've been doing this for a minute. Like, my friend literally messaged me on Instagram and <laughs> said, wow, me going to the Cher concert this is so on brand for you. Remember when we were little and you thought you sounded like Cher? I'm like, little do you know I'm on a radio show right now, <laughs> and I'm still singing, thinking that I sound like Cher. Worlds are colliding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know why that is? Because even though it got a little bigger, when you were a kid, you had the same skull. Interesting, Your yeah. bones were still lying well, to you when you were a kid. <laughs> my bones. Stop lying to me, bones. <laughs> <laughs> little Bridget's what? bones so yeah. were lying to Isn't her. that something? Wow. Yeah. So yeah, but I've I've never seen that show. I don't know anything about it. Can you but, guys do uh, any good impersonations? Didn't you hear my Ray Romano? Uh, oh, that one was pretty good. Ray yeah. Romano. Yeah. yeah, that was good. I mean, Pound Cake does. Uh, I do a Hannah good, Montana. I do a good Hannah Montana. Ooh, let's as hear a it. British accent. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I live my Duke. Was that it? That's, That's it. it. Oh, oh. That was it. <laughs> I live my Duke. No, hell no. <laughs> I thought you were gonna sing. No. Oh, I love okay. my Duke. That's it. No, hell no. Yes, it was good. If you listen to the clip, no, I'm exactly right. Hell no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> pound cake from the past uh -huh. goes to pound cake past. Hey, shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alan, what Stop about you? Poor. That's their fault. What's that? What about you? Any impersonation? Oh God, I don't talent? know. I mean, I I, I think I'm pretty. Uh, I can the Rambo one. Do some voices. The Rambo one. Didn't you my Rambo? No, not not Sylvester Stallone. You kind of do a good Jay Leno, but didn't if you? Do... I, I can't do Rambo. If you ask me to do a Rambo impersonation, I can't do it. I give you Doritos, and my wife's going crazy. I need... Okay, you guys. I don't want Trump to win. It. What do you want from me? Well, so though, I don't know. Voices. Are, yeah. I, I can kind of do voices, but. Yeah. Impersonations. I don't know that that was ever like really on some my... actor from First Blood. I thought you could do Richard Crenna. Yeah, that good supply of body bags. That guy. That's yeah. just that's more that's more vibe than voice. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do love when people more are like, vibe than voice. well, you know what I mean. Like it was it was him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if somebody was like, oh, I do a mean Richard Crenna, mm -hmm. people would go, what? It's like somebody had a bit years ago. They're like, oh, it was Carlin, like from the seventies. He's like, I don't do a lot of impressions, but I like to do, like, you know, Isaac Newton, because who can tell? Who can check, right? Right. I think that was him. Uh, just really obscure. Just tell people you do really obscure impressions. Right. And then Can't just throw something out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they go, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that sounds really this good. Is, yeah. Genghis Khan. You're not going to know. <laughs> and then there's me. I'm like, share. Got it. Mm hmm Very recognizable mm -hmm. voice. Yeah. I mean, maybe share with a head cold. You know, I think that I think that's where I overdid it because I feel like she has a deep voice, but now yeah. that hearing it back, it is a little bit higher than I thought. Yeah. Yep. Especially, you know, I'll work on it. And where does that head cold sit? In your bones. In it all comes full circle. Yeah, it sure does. There's no way around it. Alan, do your Bruce Wayne impression. I don't know what that was. 
I'm Bruce. Well, I don't remember what uh, I did. Bruce Wayne. Hey, I'm Bruce Wayne. Hey, I'm Bruce Wayne. What's going on? Eh? <laughs> and my Joker impression was, well, I'm the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm really Batman. Yeah. yeah. People remember things I don't remember, so I don't know. Those are all great. Hey, Angela Mona. Tony Danza from uh, Who's the Boss? <laughs> Angela so you're, uh, good at, you're good at talking impressions. I'm good at doing little clips of people yeah. from other things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You know. Uh, I've got to take a break here. Bridget Linton, you see her on the sidelines, boy, during the regular Brown season. She's mm-hmm. down there. She's prepped. She's fresh as a daisy. She's <laughs> just, they're looking at her and they're going, man, we made the right decision bringing her on. And uh, yeah, she's here today. We haven't Thank seen you. her for a while. She's Bridget underscore Linton 8 on Instagram.